Okay guys, so in this video we're going to be looking at the new patch updates and season updates for Operation Shadow Legacy. So starting out, it says that it introduces a legend to keep all rainbow specialists on their toes. And that newest member is Zero, who is Sam Fisher. Uh, it says it includes the new operator, the season's map rework, and the unique seasonal skin and many upcoming features such as a fresh secondary gadget and a new ping system. So I'm just going to scroll through here and kind of give you the highlights. So it shows Zero, which is the newest attack operator, and it shows his primary weapon is the SC-3000K or the MP7, so that's kind of nice. Um, his secondary weapon is the 5.7 USG handgun. As far as gadgets, he has the options of frag grenades or a claymore. And it says he's a 2 armor, 2 speed. Um, his unique ability is the Argus launcher. So it says intel is crucial to a good attack strategy and zero is well aware of that. Um, very special cameras that can lodge themselves into breakable and reinforced surfaces to surveil either side. So that sort of sounds like a like a Valkyrie camera kind of thing, but on attacking. Because it says cameras and then but it can go into breakable and reinforced surfaces, so like a mirror. Um Do have one more quirk though, a single laser shot, perfect for destroying key elements. So like Twitch. So he's like a his ability makes him sort of like a Valkyrie, Mira, Twitch, like, combo, I guess. Hmm. And then for the map rework, it the map is Chalet. Okay. Uh, it says it's been with us for a long time. Fortunately, not as viable as other maps, so we wanted to give it the love it deserved with a proper rework. So they focused on the objectives and how balanced they were. Um, so for bar and gaming, the difference is mostly in access and rotation. Doors were moved and a new hallway on the south side links them together. Hmm. Um, finally, you'll find the biggest changes with bedroom and office, which was second floor sites. Um, the stairs that led from the first floor have been moved to connect trophy and a brand new room that replaces the balcony next to master bedroom, the solarium. The bathroom no longer connects directly into the bedroom, but rather serves as the rotation point. Hmm. A few other noticeable changes include the extension of the mezzanine to connect to office balcony, where most of the windows have been blocked, uh, roof access with new repel points, and wine cellar no longer being separated into two rooms. Huh. Okay. Overall, you'll find that the map has, greatly, has been greatly reconfigured whether it be by changing the cover inside objectives or moving access points or even offering new options for rotation. Okay, uh, then it shows ping 2.0. So a new ping system is coming. On top of regular yellow pings, you'll now be able to use contextual pings both while in character and while using cameras and drones. You'll also be able to keep pinging after being eliminated so your ability to give your teammates intel will remain. So after you've already been eliminated, you can still ping stuff. That's pretty good. Um, a few notes, however, you can reveal opposing operators by pinging their primary gadget. So I guess if you ping a Grismont mine, then your team obviously knows it's an Ella. Um, regular yellow pings have assigned numbers to make for easier callouts. So I guess if multiple, if you ping multiple things, you can say uh, ping one or whatever. I guess. So that seems like pretty good. Uh, the reticle used to determine where your ping will go off, will go, can be turned off in options. So I guess that's an option. I guess to change in your settings. Uh, when using a controller, the default ping input has been switched with the swap fire mode input. Hmm. Um, let's see, map ban. A new feature called the map ban will allow players to gain more control over maps they play, both on ranked and unranked. So before a match, each team will be able to ban one map from a random pre-selection of three maps from the pool. 
banning the same map will result in a random selection from the two remaining maps while banning two different maps by elimination will result in the selection of the remaining map and players can also choose to not ban any maps so I guess basically before a match starts you have the choice of they show you three maps from the map pool and then you just choose as a team which one you want banned kind of like you do in the ban phase on for your operators okay and then I guess based on whatever's not banned is to help choose a better map or whatever okay uh, match replay test server only okay so looks like they're introducing match replay that records your last matches up to 12 of them on your PC it's enabled by default in general options so you can play back your last couple matches I guess to see like different things I guess just to get feedback on what you were doing so that's kinda nice uh, they're adding a new secondary gadget called the hard breach charge so it's meant to be deployed on a wall hatch or barricade and blast through it okay like a regular breach charge however the hard breach charge also works on reinforced surfaces and leaves a medium-sized hole that operators can navigate so basically whatever operators get this they officially become a hard breacher so it's not just thermite ace and habana anymore or maverick it's whoever else gets this wonder who that is hmm. uh, let's see new optics and sight colors so they're implementing new optics and sight colors to allow for better experience that are to players that are colorblind or visually impa impaired um, okay so I guess instead of the generic red reticles you can choose like maybe green I guess okay uh, reinforcement pool so rather than having two reinforcements to deploy in each of their inventories operators will now take from a reinforcement pool so instead of having two reinforcements when you spawn in on defense you have 10 total for your team and you can share them so some operators can take three if they want to i guess or whatever and then you just get whatever's left like one i guess out of the 10. huh uh, the goal of this and will increase by one for each failed reinforcement so I guess if you don't use all 10 reinforcements in a defense round I guess they just you can build them up for the next round I guess hmm okay um, bring some balance to the defending team allowing operators that already have a lot of preparation before match to leave it to others okay yeah that makes sense so if you have an operator that has like like Jaeger you have three ADS's and the time it takes to install those where you want them and stuff may take up most of your prep phase and so then you could get rid of one of your reinforcements and give it to another operator who may not have anything like pulse who can use those extra reinforcements hmm okay Thatcher changes huh makes sense since they've been banning him a lot recently uh, the disabled state for electronic gadget is an update aiming to add a disabled state for gadgets besides active or destroyed. So the duration of this state depends on the ability from the opposite operator that caused the gadget to be disabled. Gadgets in that state can be still deployed and can still be detected by operators with the proper gadgets. Okay. Uh, in this new phase, we're aiming to implement a loss of functionality for all defenders' gadgets across the board when Thatcher uses his EMP grenade rather than having some gadgets destroyed and others disabled for a short amount of time. Uh, we're choosing to unify the behavior of gadgets affected by Thatcher and have them all be disabled temporarily. Okay, so instead of destroying um, like a destroying like any sort of electronic devices I guess on the defenders side it just temporarily disables them okay kinda of like bandit uh, shock wires or whatever instead of destroying the shock wires on like reinforced walls and stuff it only just disables it hmm. okay a uh, new service called squad finder on their website to help Rainbow Six Siege players find the perfect teammates and build the best squad in the game. 
Okay, so you just create a profile based on your ga game data and play habits and set up a request following their game sessions, language, play style, and game mode. The matching system will then connect them to players with similar stats and with good compatibility. Okay, and then you just kind of, it makes it easier to find teammates, I guess. So that's kind of nice. Um, seed stats. Another update we are proud to offer is the arrival of a stats tracker available to all players on our website available during the season. You have been vocal about how important tracking your performance is, so you will soon be able to access your history through the brand new seed stats. Okay, so it's kind of like R6 tracker or other like stat trackers that are like third party from Ubisoft. Okay. With only your username, you'll be able to access your stats for the current season and break it down to monthly and weekly summaries. Also able to access your previous seasons, add friends to see how their stats stack up to their to your own. Okay. Weekly personalized recaps and the advanced stats pro players use to track their performance. Okay. Operator price decrease. Okay, so basically all operators drop like five thousand, so seven operators, okay. Mario Goyu drop to twenty thousand instead of twenty five. Maverick and Clash go down to fifteen thousand. Ying Illusion and Ella go down to 10,000. Okay. Uh, Shadow Legacy Weapon Skin. So I guess the generic seasonal skin that comes with the beginning of the season. Looks kind of nice. Uh, balancing. So with the introduction of the Hard Breach Charge, new sights and scopes, the change to the DSG, so Thatcher Grenades, and other gameplay balancing updates in this update we're holding off on operator relay balance and changes for the time to be to evaluate their impact so for current loadouts they have Mont monty at using a hard breach charge instead of his stun grenades uh ying with a hard breach charge instead of her regular breach charges so ying becomes a hard breacher now uh fuse hard breach charge replaces his smokes Finca hard breach charge replacing breach so Finca because becomes a hard breacher as well. Amaru gets hard breach charge instead of her claymore, and Nock gets a hard breach charge instead of breach charges, so she becomes a hard breacher now. Uh, Capitao hard breach charge replacing stun grenades. Okay, and Lion gets the hard breach charge in place of his claymores. Okay, and then for Maverick, he gets an additional blowtorch canister with six in all, instead of the original five. Okay. On average, it requires approximately 2.3 canisters to open the hatch, so an extra canister will be more forgiving of mistakes. Okay, yeah. Um, so then they go on to tweaks and improvements, so just game balancing, talking about the new sites. Uh, introducing two new sites and two new scopes. Okay, so a new M4S red dot site, which is a one-time zoom, which functions as a no zoom site. Okay, so kind of like iron sites, I guess. Uh, new MH1 hollow site, alternative hollow that offers a clean site and new reticle. Um, new ACOGs, which is a 1.5 scope with a short to medium range magnification. So they shorten ACOGs. Okay, and then a new scope that's 2.0. Um, times scope with medium range magnification. They modified the 2.5 ACOG. They changed the zoom. Uh, 3.0 is no longer a unique option and will be an option for most DMRs. Okay. So no longer are we going to have the long ACOG sites, I guess. Um, hmm. Player comfort. We have minimum MMR gain and loss. So winning slash losing a ranked match will now give a minimum of 25 plus or minus MMR gain or loss. We've also tweaked the MMR distribution to prevent diminishing MMR returns for players who play lots of ranked games. In-game report notifications, you get a notification if you report a player and they are sanctioned or I guess temporarily banned, I guess. And then they will send you a thank you email for reporting that player. Uh, vote to kick removal, which is going to happen, I guess, later in the season, it says. Uh, they'll be removing vote to kick from quick match. Okay. 
uh, some changes to the caster HUD. Um, then they go on to game health, talking about the gadget re deployment refactor and ADS sensitivity system, vault detection, updating RFF and hostage rules updates, uh, MMR rollback cap, and sound refactoring. So that's basically it, and then they have main bug fixes, but I'm not going to look at those. Okay, so overall they got quite a bit of changes coming into the season. Um, overall, I think some of this is good changes. Um, some of it, I feel maybe not everyone obviously will agree with the changes that they have, but I feel like some of the changes they've made will actually benefit the game overall. Um, but basically for this video, I just wanted to kind of go over it and kind of give my opinion on some of the stuff. So now when the test server opens back up, um, I will be posting a video kind of doing a more in-depth look at the uh, newest operator zero as well as the chalet rework. So I'll see you on the next one.